Nice. There we go. Hello, how's everyone doing? Going right in, uh, into it, I do not want to waste any time because I do not- What the fuck? Why are you crying, Pella? What did they do to you? Wait a minute, anyone there? Kalos? Hey, do you know how to get sober? Do you know how to get sober? I'm a little... not good. Christ. <laughs> she got drunk? <laughs> Wait a minute, what, the, what do you mean? <laughs> what happened? I do have some ways to help you get sober, okay? You should try sleeping. I... <laughs> okay, I think this is proof that she is legal now. I'm just saying this because many people do consider her not legal. But turns out she is. <clears throat> Please input your name when providing information. Man, why is she sending me of all people <laughs> message when she's drunk? Um, she's thinking about me. Or about Kaelus specifically. Uh, what happened? What do you mean not good? What happened? <coughs> it's not a big deal. I'm writing a script for the upcoming text exchange. Tales exchange, yes. It uh, To meet the deadline, I haven't slept for three days and three nights. I'm super sleepy now. Small, to small talk's over. I need to finish it before the deadline. Okay, you can do it. I'll try my best. Cries. Poor girl. Working herself to the bone. That was... That was... <laughs> this... This was her entire free time. I should have... I should have answered something else. Oh, well. Oh, excuse me. What? <sighs> anyway. I found some time tonight. And uh, since I found time, that means that I wanted to stream. And since streaming is, um, you know... Something that I really want to do, I chose to do something I really want to do. Play more Honkai. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. But uh, what can you do? Like, I have a night shift tonight again. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I should not bother myself with too much. Because then I will not be able to... Oh, thank you for the money. Um, I will not be able to... Uh, you know, manage if I was to, you know, if I was to push myself too hard to do it too much thing, too many things, too much, too difficult or so. So I'm like, Let's okay, quick. okay, you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy some free time. So you are afraid of me. Because simply enough. Who's next? Night shifts are a bitch. You won't get away. This is our chance. Nice job. You won't get away. Perhaps you still don't humanity. Of course I played a little bit off stream. And I'm no exception. You won't get away. Let's go. You won't get away. This is our chance. You won't get away. <laughs> this is our chance. This is all I need to do. You won't get away. There we go. That that was the end of it. Excellent job. You won't get away. So you are afraid nice. of who's next? Let's make it quick. You won't get away. So you are afraid. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never can I just love her super. What can, I, what can you do? I'm no exception. Mm, there we go. <laughs> you won't get away. Don't mess with who's next. Let's go. You won't get away. So you are. I'll free you from as your you chance to disappear as well. among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. 
There we go. Nice. <coughs> okay. Done the done. Done the dinner. I done the done the done the done the done I played a little bit off stream and my god, I tried to push forward a little bit the story and I'm glad I did so because god damn, this has actually started to drag on a little bit yesterday. Text upon text upon exposition, uh, there was nothing too cool about it. You just had to, you know, um, you just had to reveal the some, uh, some organization that actually, you know, probably causes the problems. Uh, of the so-called immortality and such, and um, it w it wasn't nothing special. It was just Kalos and some side characters, not side characters, actual characters, characters like NPC characters. Just you know, uh... where do we go? There we go. Wait. There we go. Just some side characters doing some spy shit. And it was actually kind of, you know... It, it, it wasn't that bad, but it was, as I said, <clears throat> not too interesting. Like, nothing too flashy, and I'm glad that I went through with it outside of the stream. This is not a genuine, you know, playthrough of a game, you know. Uh, find the malfunctioning robots. <clears throat> okay, there we go, and there you are. Nice job. Easy as pie. Piece of cake. I never understood why whenever you wanted to say that something is very easy, you have to include desserts in English. I just realized that. Why do we say easy as pie? Or why do we say piece of cake? Or maybe what do they say? Because Why do they say? Because I am not an English native to understand such dumbass logic. All one time. Can I manage this time? Question mark. It's going to be very difficult, that's for sure. Give me the... there we go. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, my god, thank you. Okay, real question now. Ah, uh, yeah, I also did the Equilibrium thing, so now I'm on level 60. Um, there's nothing for me more to enhance. Uh, there's nothing for me more to enhance. Oh, yeah, I got the... <laughs> this... the Preservation 5-star... God damn it. It's gonna be... <sighs> I cannot actually get... I have to start farming more. <laughs> God damn it. Damn. Okay, so I guess things remain as is for now. Who is going to be my... My Valentine? I mean... Do you want to enter the Forgotten Hall? Who's going to be the one who's gonna help me, you know, clear this? This isn't gonna be easy. Okay, fire. Ice. Scylla would have been perfect for this challenge, by the way. Just saying. Okay, so we do get Kyalos. Oh, he wait! <gasps> we need to have two fucking... Oh, no, that's a pain in the fucking ass. Okay, so... Okay, 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 okay. I think I know how to do this. I think. No promises. No, pro no promises. Um hmm, ice. Can we have two characters with ice in this one team? It would be smart to do that actually. Other characters don't have much defense. They will die immediately. That is my fault by the way. I didn't grind them enough. 
Uh, actually, that didn't sound it correct. Oh well. Hmm. What? Oh fuck it. Let's not use our power for uh, since Kyolus is with them. I'm have I'm not worried. That's a lie. I'm worried, but oh well. Gonna have Japard. Gonna have her. Gonna have uh, electricity girl right here. And uh, this is fire. It's gonna be ultra difficult, you know. But we have to try. Okay, at the beginning of each cycle, restores HP for an ally within the lowest HP of their max HP. Okay. We need a strategy. Okay, we have to get. We have to finish it with within 12 cycles. Impossible, but we will try, regardless. Mm, upgrade okay, configured. Kick ass. This is our chance. Okay, this does not look uh, difficult. Tiger twirl. Do you know who I? This big diamond. It's all yours. Tiger twirl. Rules are made to be broken. Kick it ass and kick it fast. <clears throat> Damn it, you see? That's why I'm telling you. What are you looking at? <laughs> Commencing support. <gasps> Goodbye. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. When they keep quiet. Mm. <gasps> that Let's didn't go. do much. Oh, so that was actually kind of good. <gasps> Ugh. Enemy targets detected. That didn't do much. Hey, crap. Tiger twirl. Honored to meet me. <laughs> no. Take more than that. Luck of the draw. Okay. And victory! Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! This is our chance. <gasps> Rules are made to be broken. Is this gonna do it? Yes! Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay, somehow manage. Okay, so seize the initiative. I'm with you. First, second. Is this about? <laughs> no, this is about fire. Fuck it. Um, actually, it could be. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> there we go. It could be useful. You won't get away. <laughs> Time for the main event. Start it up. Time for an overhaul. Hope you're prepared. <laughs> what? Oh, crap. <clears throat> Damn. All right. You still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. You won't get away. Nice. Let's rock. Ready to lose your? You can fight it or rock with it. In the name of Landa, a will forged in ice never falters. I'm not taking any risks. <laughs> Yep, I told you. I have something for you. Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. This ends here. Let's do this.
This ends here. God damn it, free scheme. Oh no. Sure, we didn't manage within the circles, but oh well. I haven't seen one in the slow version, actually. Nice. God damn it! Oh. This ends here. Come on, just there. There we go. The name of land a will forged in ice. Never falters. Ready to lose your son. You can fight it. Or rock with it. I have something for you. Crap, do not uh, about to kill him. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. Crap. There we go. Didn't manage within eight circles, not so that's for sure, but twenty. Wait a minute. Win at least 12 seconds. Oh, with 12 seconds. Oh, so we managed. Oh, man. I'm good. Man, I'm good. And I'm, I don't know. I was under leveled in every way. And give me now. Yeah. <laughs> Still a jade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Victory. Victory. That's right. Hell yeah. Oh, hey, we also got the... Nice. Man, I'm about to... I'm about to reach level 50. Perhaps I will eventually buy Nameless Glory. I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure. It would be useful. Since it's already unlocked, I mean... It, it will only cost... 10 euro. Which is money that I do not want to spend, but... You know, oh god damn it! You get almost, uh, you get almost, oh, you get some avatars too. Uh, oh well, well at least you get all these for only ten euro. You have to spend double for that for the avatars. So yeah, I can live without them. I'm not willing to spend ten euro with only t for, for only two avatars. <laughs> Do we have, uh, you know, enough for a pool? No, we do not. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? How much do we need? Um, I have made multiple pools. We're almost halfway there. Oh, yeah. Yes. Give me more characters. Give me more power. Oh, hey. I didn't know so much power could fit into... Uh, ah, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> uh... Sorry, the express strategically <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I this dialogue has been before. Hey. Oh, this must be ancient. Is the express crew still using it? It is well. Indeed it has. Phonographs. They use 
vinyl records, right? There's only a handful of folks on the space station who collect those things. I think they're more popular with the older crowd. Ooh. I bet Gun would know how to use them. Uh, still, if I remember correctly, Gun only listens to audio tapes. How do you listen to music? Same as you guys, on terminals. Terminals? Huh. What with them being so big and heavy? I used to wonder why anyone would ever buy a phonograph. I think I'm starting to get it now. It's hard to find the music you want on the streaming platforms managed by the IPC. Well, I, for one, had to subscribe to at least a dozen of them. Well, you have money, so you don't mind that much, do you? It's not like they're expensive or anything. It's just a hassle to switch between them to find the song you like. Uh. With a phonograph, it's essentially just plug and play. Oh, it also scratches the itch to collect things, I guess. Yeah. And that's why subscribing is a bad thing. So please, do not subscribe on my channel. Actually, do not give a shit at all. Give me a dislike and leave. <laughs> I mean, it would be so boring to switch between the subscribers, you know, to, to switch between the channels you have to subscribe to in order to, you know, know which one you want to manage. Then again, you could just unsubscribe to all other channels and just subscribe to mine. That way, you can only have notifications from my channel. <laughs> yeah, pro play right here. This is how I'm gonna create my YouTuber empire. YouTube empire. Oh, well. let me think. Mm. What, what, what more do I want to do? Um, well, I'm not gonna use them just yet. This is just fine. No, we don't need any more of that. I guess the only way for me to progress is through the mission. We have to finish this. Uh, no, not stop navigating. Go to it. Let's hope that the boring part is something that I passed before and now I get to... Uh, I get to... <clears throat> get to the good part. Takes a while to load. Why? There Don't we go. mention it. I was just doing my job. Mm. All right then. First, you. Uh, Venom Bruise Immortality Looms. Head to the Exalting Sanctum and ask around for the Jord of Dragon Dragon Draconic Surge's recipe. Oh yeah, you it got a recipe. And we have to know what the fuck was this recipe about. Ah, why, hello there. Anything I can help you with? No. Give me one second to blow my nose. So, this is official Seed of Divine Foresight business, eh? Then I'll do everything I can to assist you. <laughs> Let's take a look at this prescription you mentioned. Hmm. this request had come from anywhere else, it would have seemed like a joke. That the Seed of Divine Foresight only deals in the serious. I can't understand this prescription. And I imagine that other alchemists won't be able to make sense of it either. I recommend you go directly to the Chief Alchemist, Lady Don Shu. I recommend to just go to the gen to go to Mondstadt and ask the, you know, the true alchemist there. Lady Don Shu is renowned for her unique line of reasoning. She's proposed several prescriptions that would have been incomprehensible to us if she hadn't explained the pharmacology. Pharmacology is a Greek word. Still, those same prescriptions have always been able to produce miraculous effects. Lady Don Shu is a truly gifted alchemist. All the more amazing given her sightlessness, wouldn't you say? Lady Don Shu likes to pass the time over at Sinwood Pavilion. I'm sure you'll run into her if you head that way. All right, thank you. <clears throat> so I guess I got to the right person on the right of the bat. Thank you. Let's not waste any time. Oh yeah, by the way, there is actually this phase over here with the guy living in it. And I uh, wait a minute. 
<laughs> yeah, I cannot break it again. I need to give him trash. But I need five. And I actually spend uh, like a good amount, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes to actually searching for trash. And I did not find but one. Uh, that's because I wasted all the trash in the last stream where I was actually, you know, this is actually some nice art right here. Wait a minute. Why can't you not zoom in and out? You could zoom in and out before. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, yes, I wasted it because I created this horrible drink, which I uh, afterwards I drank and I lost all my HP. Anyway, oh hey, that's a nice um, music organ. Hey, you are done, shoe. Tell me, how do you make? I've make... been looking forward to meeting you. Huh? <laughs> how do you know it's me? You have a very distinct scent. Losing one sense forces the other senses to become sharper. You're blind? I heard from other alchemists you have a prescription you wish me to assess. Oh my god, she's blind! Can you read it to me? Ooh! I... Wow! Okay, now I feel bad. One and two. Congratulations on the team who actually, you know... Make it obvious that yes, she's actually blind. She doesn't have, you know, irises. Like the way, you know, Kalos has. Too bad I cannot have a close up. Sure. Thank you. Are you read the prescription to dance you. Hmm. A strange and dangerous prescription. But I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of ascension. The specifics, however, will require further investigation. This will take some time. I could hardly happen upon Vidyatara Bone Marrow and test the prescription myself, could I? Leave your contact details with me. When I've completed my assessment of the pharmacology, I'll get in touch with you. Now, there we go. Now we can have a, a close-up. Look at that. Look at her eyes. She doesn't have an iris the same way, you know, Kalos has. Oh, so sad. So she is blind. Anyway, we got the <clears throat> a message. Uh, incoming message notification. Kalos, I'm Xing Q, Chief Secretary of the Skyfaring Commission. The Palace of Astrum is running a small event for visitors to better understand Xiang Zhou. Would you be interested? A dreamy one-day one tour? Not interested. Mm, I live work right on time. <laughs> oh my, uh, I feel that, actually. I actually feel I, I actually live work a little bit before the time. <laughs> anyway. Mm, a dreamy one day tour. Not interested in Let me think, let me think. Ah uh, yes, I'm interested, yeah. I'm very interested. What kind of event is it? I don't know if you've met him before, but the Skyfaring Commission has speed test their named <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> met him before, but the Skyfaring Commission has a speed test that named Tan Tan. He'd hoped that the public would actively participate in the in traffic management and become more aware of potential road hazards. To that end, he is planning a Xiangsu speed tester experience. There are two there are too few attendees because the event is too boring. So Madame Yu Kang asked me to help her get more people. Would you mind attending this, please, pretty please? All you need to do is to record the traffic flow through Stars Gift Haven. It's simple work, just stand in lane and count. I'll find him in a bit. Maybe you use people for this? Must you use people for this? You're just asking because you're in... You're just asking... Because, uh, so you never say good things with me, but always ask me to help you when you're in trouble. This is a good thing, trust me, all the project has a set budget. The fewer people involved in your project, the more individual benefits you'll get. If you're ready, please go find Tantan. Fire. 
Okay, thank you for a side mission, which I'm not gonna do on stream. Even though th this actually, you know, whenever you get a message, it feels like a legit... Uh, I don't know why, but unlike... Um, get the Exalting 7 Plaza whenever you're ready. New friends bring new joy. Okay, so... Um, as I was saying, uh, the... Uh, <clears throat> in Genshin, you don't get actually get... You just talk to people and you get, you know, side quests. But in this game, whenever you get a message, it feels a little bit more connected. I do not know why. It feels like you pay a little bit more attention because the messages are actually, you know, something that you actively read and send with responses. I guess you could say that it feels a little bit more um, rel rel relatable to, for you to actually pay attention unlike Genshin. This is why this game actually has managed to be, you know, so prosperous, you could say. Because I have seen that people, you know, it's the most mo successful mobile game right now. Uh, Honkai Star Rail. Oh, hey, new message. <laughs> greetings, Master Diviner asked. Ah, uh, greetings. Master Diviner asked me to wait for you. It's about time. Can't go. I'm busy right now. God, what's up with this fucking secrecy? What does that mean? It's just a picture. Are we supposed to meet someone there? It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends in a horror movie. <laughs> yes, it truly is. That's enough of that. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna get you one day. I'm sad that I don't have wealth in this mission. It would have been perfect, but having him echo it feels just just enough okay as i said before so yeah i i will not i will stop talking about it i don't know it bothers me to not have the canonical characters involved in a mission when i play it for the first time you know i i'm just a perfectionist like that what can you do but it's not that bad having at the very least three out of the four characters and the fourth one being someone who is closely relatable it's uh, it's 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 okay Okay, so go to the divine. Hurry up, Chingcha. We'll be fossils by the time you're finished. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's delve. I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Chingchua. Even if the sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. Are you sure you just don't want to play? It's the place in the photo, all right. Is this... a games parlor? Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? <laughs> Isn't this hand a problem? I have the worst luck. Oh, hi there! I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guests. Hmm. Why are you looking at me, March? Did you bring us here just for this? Do you even know how long we've been waiting? You don't want the Master Diviner to know you've been slacking off, do you? <laughs> Actually, this is my response. <laughs> yeah, you wanna know that slacking off is a bad thing? I know, I know. But ah, triplet! What? But folks from the realm keeping commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. Pass, pass. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess uh, Marty's expression with this situation is perfect. So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quieter? Four of a kind. Man, she really is multitasking. And wouldn't that be more fun too? Better to show you the real exalting system <sighs> and introduce you to a true Sian Joe Baseball. pastime. Celestial Jade! <laughs> I what? Okay. Victory! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> God damn it, she really was multitasking. Good job. <sighs> now that my wish has been fulfilled, there's nothing holding us back. Follow me, honored guests. I must apologize for your long wait, honored guests. It wasn't too long. Seeing your enthusiasm for this celestial jade game has stoked my curiosity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. You clearly have excellent taste. If you're interested, I can show you how to play. It's great fun. Sure. <laughs> well, Mr. Yang, is this really the best time? Sure. <laughs> Nah, I don't like this Celestial Jade. I, I think I know which, which kind of game this is. I have seen it. Um, some computers actually computers actually have this game. I, I understand it from the tiles. Um, I prefer Tavli. Also known as Backgammon. Personally speaking. In Greece, we call it Tavli. In English, it's called backgammon, but backgammon does not sound as cool as saying tavli. So, tavli it is. I prefer tavli. Ah, uh, look. Is that a... What? It's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo Lafu's prized treasure. Yeah, and it seems now that it's dead. Indeed. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Not bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. For that note, for the note actually, you look younger than her, just saying. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from it celestial bodies hung. Yeah, truly, I believe that. Meaning? It means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. Lies. So, how big was it? Bigger than the Express? Bigger than Herta Space Station? No, that can't be right. Stars hung from its branches. Then, how did it fit in the Sienjo? I shouldn't, we shouldn't bother with it. Technically, any tree in the spaceship fits the description. Um. It sounds like an imaginably magnificent tree. It sounds like an imagine imaginably magnificent tree. Exactly. Let's just say it was bigger than your imagination. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Uh. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, since we have the other character now, might as well just change it. Mm, you. Can I? No, I cannot. God damn it. I cannot actually upgrade anyone. Fuck. You're weak. And since you're weak, I cannot actually do much. Mm, for now, I'm gonna have to equip you with the other characters, you know, cards, I guess. Harmony. Just to make you a little bit more powerful in order to make things a little bit more s balanced, I guess. Oh, wait. I... Quick setup? No. Uh, fuck. There we go. Confirm. There we go. This feels correct now. There we go. And since we have her, might as well just walk around as her. She just throws a tile. You'd be a tool to miss I a tile in the ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> miss a tile in the pool, you moron. We're almost there, everyone. Stay close. Let's go. Finally, we're leaving this place. Jesus. This place actually dragged on. There was nothing too crazy about it. It was just some downtime and just meeting side characters. Just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. L mm, I'm not prosperous. Maybe anything. the Master Diviner's guests, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. Oh, and people who ask too many questions, not to mention. 
Please, don't push your buttons. I'm gonna do all the all We're of the above. We're just here for the questioning. We'll leave as soon as it's over. Things will not go well. Ah, yes. And things are so secure here, which it's, it's simple, simple enough to find. What the... Oh, there is another level down. Crap. No, there is... Hmm. I need to explore a little bit here. Hey. Oh, no. Yeah, managed. Thank you. Looks like these are my tips. Yeah. Gonna kick your ass, okay? Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. I want to kick both of your asses. There we go. There we go. In order to be a little bit faster about it. Wait a minute. I just realized something. My chat is a little bit... There we go. Now my chat is in the perfect position. Look. There we go. Get down to kick ass. Rules are made to be broken. Welcome, customers. <laughs> yeah! Shake off my turn. <laughs> nice. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> this is our chance. Very nice. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Treasure. Thank you. Looks good. Mm. There we go. Nice. Anything else? This is actually a big stage. Time to wander off. This is our chance. There we go. Let's be friends. Rules are made to be broken. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Oh, thank you. Ah. 
looks good. Okay, let's see. Mm. Nope. So that's how it works. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, cannot unlock these doors yet. I guess we go inside now. So strange. Oh, let me guess, the gate isn't working? I don't understand. It's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. Hey, I know the food here sucks, but that's no reason to shut the gate on our guests. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie, I like her. <laughs> Are you really from the Divination Commission? She probably isn't. Is it possible you were fired? Maybe something happened inside. Is it, is it possible you were fired? No way. She's already demoted me to managing the repository. What else does she want from me? <laughs> so you did get demoted. <laughs> There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. Here it is. But this was locked before. Ugh, Stellaron corrosion. What's going on? Great, this gate won't open either. We've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Chinchu for messing up once again. Okay. I knew I defended that diviner. Hey, hey. That's why she sent this girl to help us. Miss Chingchi, if you don't mind, may I take a look? Huh? Oh, uh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Was she polite? Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Oh yeah, I remember those. <laughs> Mm. This isn't difficult. Mm. Easy. Wow, you're amazing, Mr. Yang. It wasn't Mr. You Yang. That well for an outsider. I officially hand over the title of Keeper of the Loafing Gate to you. What? <laughs> No comment from Mr. Yang. I prefer to call him Mr. Welt. Uh, anyone here surprised? Anyone? Nobody. Here comes trouble. All right. Uh, can't we run around to them for a change? Let's go. Peace the moment. Be the moment. Yeah! Tough luck running into me! This is our chance. Uh, why why did you, he go to, to attack? To I was... Uh, oh well. Fuck you. Reach the end of the story in your own way. This actually felt like a puzzle. God damn it, there are a lot of enemies around here. Uh, hmm. lucky. Yeah, my turn. A thousand 
wonders to raise your spirit. <laughs> Fight as one! When they keep quiet. My turn. <laughs> Luck of the draw. Freeze and... <gasps> Victory! This is our chance. <laughs> Finally. We're on a roll. <laughs> mm. We're in the money. <laughs> we are in the money. Indeed we are. Mm. Oh crap. There we go. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> cool. Keep health. Time to kick ass. This is our chance. Bye bye. Choose my strike. Gotcha. I. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Yes. Are made to be Go to him before he, before. Yeah, that. Let's make it quick. Bye bye. Told you I could. There we go. Easy. Nice. You couldn't have done it without me. Open the damn gate. Finally. Hey. There are people there. What is up? And why? I'm sorry, the Cloud Knights have orders from the Master Diviner to secure the Commission's safety. The area up ahead is temporarily closed. Bullshit. You're just hiding treasure over there, which you don't want me to get now. But don't worry, I'll get it later. Oh, treasure. Looks good. Oh, puzzle. Come on, let's go. I'm not even gonna read what the fuck is written down there. If you want, read it yourself. Come on, go faster! And sincerely appreciate your help. Please take this. It is dangerous to go alone. Take this. Lag. A little bit, not too much, but a little bit lag. Hi. Wow, a rare honor. Huh? Uh, me? Have we met? No, I met Chinchua. I didn't expect to see her here during work hours. <laughs> what does that mean? That's unfair. I'm working hard. Look, these are the guests the Master Diviner wants to meet. Actually, this actually, <laughs> this actually sounded like a genuine, like, uh, buddy buddy insult. Like, <laughs> oh my God, what an honor! You actually decided to show up to work. <laughs> A rare. <laughs> uh, are you talking about us this time? Uh, yes, the Master Diviner rarely allows outsiders. 
She likes her peace and quiet. Mm. If you want to see the Master Diviner, head straight to the Matrix of Prescience. The Matrix? They're short of hands. The Master Diviner is run off her feet, and the Cloud Knights stationed there are driving away evil spirits. I don't know when they'll be done. Um, no, um, we don't have anything. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, if you want to see, they're short of hand. Thank you. I thought you were gonna have some other dialogue, except you know. Can we? Can I... There we go. Be right before we got the to the scene. This is the Matrix of Prescience, a large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. So, wait a minute. Why are you still with us, the Fox Girl? I mean, I don't mind her being here, but I do not understand why she's now here. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Ching Chu? A Jade Abacus Ching is just... A Jade Abacus. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you for enlightening me. <sighs> That's a good question, Mr. Yang. Take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. The book, Glimpses into the Beyond, describes it as living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. Oh my god, I fucking knew this was going to be like the... As I said, I do not, like, I do not resonate a lot with this kind of culture and this kind of architecture and such. Thus, all this is so fucking uninteresting to me. I won't say it's boring because it's, it looks cool. But to me personally, I don't really give a damn. I would rather be in Bellobog again. It feels a little bit more closer to home closer to what i'm used to or at the very least what i'm interested in some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry we put like the bigger that? ones into instruments of calculation so we can simulate the future and learn from the past yeah, okay take the matrix of prescience here as an example as long as sufficient information is provided it can answer questions on anything from the evolution of natural phenomena to the metabolism of living things. Mm. They say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands them. So they are computers. So they are com yeah, they are just microchip. So they are computers. Seems like it. But Jade Abacus does sound a lot better. No, I do not agree with that. That sounds actually kind of ridiculous, but whatever. It sounds like too, like even though you have a very more simplistic term for it, you just decide to call it Jade Abacus just because it sounds cooler or more complicated. But now that I think about it, Abacus, Abacus, it's Abacus. Oh my laka! Now I understand. Oh, okay, jade is basically the, the stone-like thing, right? I have heard of jade before. Wait a minute, what is jade? Jade. Yes, n ne nephritis. This is what jade is. Nephritis. Alright? So, abacus, it's, what is, it's a Greek word for avakas. Avakas was the very first computer in history. Not by the term of an actual computer computer, but basically from um, from a scientific perspective. A computer, it's something that calculates. Avacas was the first computer, quote-unquote, in history because it could calculate. You see? Avacas. It's a mathematic organ. So, wait a minute. Wiki. Now I get it a little bit more. Okay, now you caught a little bit of my attention. The abacus, also called counting frame, is a calculated tool which has been used in, since ancient times. It was, it was used in the ancient Near East, Europe, China and Russia, millennia before the adoption of the Hindu-Arabic numeral system. 
The exact origin of the Abacus has not yet emerged. It consists of throw blues, dragon wire. The okay. In the earliest designs, the rows of bread have loosed flat the surface. Later, the bread Abacuses are still made often as, often as a babu. Um, there we go. Etymology. The word Abacus to at least AD 1387, when in middle when in middle English uh, work borrow, borrowed the word from Latin that described the sandboard abacus. The Latin word is derived from ancient Greek abax, which means something without a base and in colloquially I have no idea how to pronounce this. Uh, any piece of rectangular material. Alternatively, uh, alternatively, without reference to ancient texts in, on etymology, it has been suggested, suggested that it means a square table strewn with dust, or drawing board covered with dust. Uh, for the use of mathematics, the exact shape of the Latin perhaps reflects the geni genitive form of the Greek word word avakos. While the table the table strewn, strewn with dust. Def definition is popular. Some argue evidence is uh, is <coughs> is insufficient for that conclusion. Greek avax probably borrowed from Northwest Semitic language like Phoen Phoenician, ev evidenced by cognate with Hebrew word avak or dust. Uh -huh, both opposes in okay. Mesopotamia, Egypt, Greece. Yeah, let's take a look at the evidence of the use of Greece. Abacus dates in the fifth century BC. Okay, you get it. You get it. So basically, you just call it avacas in the very original form. Okay, that's that's fine. Now that I understand it a little bit better, it's fine. It's fine. Besides, ordinary computers don't have cool backstories. Technology handed down from news. Huh. Mm, actually, they do have backstories, but not so as cool. Oh well. Even in Madame Hertz's space station. I never saw anything related to Noose. Noose. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a jade abacus or a computer? Because they are both the same, scientifically speaking. Oh well. Just like today. Would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? It makes no difference at all. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Meta algorithm reading complete. Inputting Jade Abacus for simulation. Divination inference complete. Hexagrammatic position established. Fluctuation range is between the marsh and the water trigrams. Error margin of 0.2%. Oh. The algorithm is correct, so what's interfering with the instruments? God knows. Oh hi, you again, and the other guy. God damn it. Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? We are fluctuating between the heaven and thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak Fu Shen, <laughs> it's an utter disaster. Great. How's role. that for a divination commission fortune? It's incredible. The matrix of prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the Commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the Matrix of Prescience, but I have no forces available. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. Oh, you will find out soon enough. <laughs> but your Fu Shen, the seer, the boundless omniscient, bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. Hmm. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Look, help has just arrived. 
Finally. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though it wasn't your order I received. <sighs> so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? Yes, kinda. Well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. Mm. Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. <laughs> I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Jinchue is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. Glad to have us, <laughs> glad to have us as your errand runners, aren't you? I thought you were going to have us and sort it out. I thought you were going to have. I was waiting out. for the Matrix of Prescience to resume operation so that you might gain insight into my divination techniques. <sighs> it was rude of me to keep you waiting so long. No need for the formalities. We heard what the general said. If you need something from us, just say the word. Very well. Then I'll keep this brief. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience's space terminals. And eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. Okay. Uh, won't we be breaching Shang Tsu's secrets in the process? Don't know anything about the Pratico of Prison. Yeah. Won't we be breaching Shang Tsu? Yes, but you needn't worry. You have my permission. Xing Chui will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... Psst. <clears throat> I hath divined our future. We are destined to be errand runners. Forever. <laughs> I love you, March. Okay, yeah, that's true, actually. Just say the magic word. What? Which magic word? Ah, uh, you have to figure it out. Ah, <sighs> the universal one? Please? Oh. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> uh, please. Oh, good enough. Ting Chui, restarting the base terminals will be your responsibility. Oh, and forget everything you saw and heard just now. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. Is this what I get? No reward and a bunch of extra work? Yeah. <sighs> the Master Diviner wants me to restart the Matrix of Prescience's base terminals. And bring you along for the ride. Mm, your time to shine. Change the in chains to impress the boss. I sense a promotion at the race. Sh um, I sense a promotion at the race. <sighs> I worked so hard on getting transferred to the repository. It's the best place to slack off and be invisible. <laughs> so you wanted to get demoted. Now I actually have career prospects. This is terrible. It's people like you that ruin society. If I screw it up, they might fire me. But if I get it done right, they'll send me more work. I have an incredible idea. Do, do the right thing. I'm gonna ask more questions next time. I could be playing Celestial Jade right now. God damn it, you and your Celestial Jade. How about you become a professional and start, you know, going to tournaments or something? That way you can make Celestial Jade your job. Hey! It's been a while, my astral guest. My astral ass. <laughs> this is why, for some reason, this is exactly what my eyes, my, boom, my eyes, my... Ears thought they were about to hear. It's been a while, my asshole ass. <laughs> Thanks to you, the law foo has successfully brought Kafka to justice. I am truly grateful. There hadn't been a single Stellaron hunter arrest since the Inter Astral Peace Corporation issued their bounty. Ah. <laughs> this is a victory for the Sienjo. Not quite. I'm afraid things are about to go off track. So, are you guys on the IPC in direct competition? Let's split a huge bounty 50-50. You didn't give us the full picture of your plan for Kafka. You didn't give us the full picture. Fu Shen's Matrix of Prescience was able to go one step further than Kafka. To maintain the upper hand, I had to keep it a surprise. I hope this hasn't made you doubt my sincerity. 
Yeah. Uh, next time, maybe ease off on the surprises? <laughs> I promise to be more transparent next time. At present, Kafka has no intention of speaking, and the Stellaron Hunter's motives remain unknown. We must rely on the power of the Divination Commission to unearth the truth. Unearth the truth? You mean interrogate Kafka with the Matrix of Prescience? Precisely. The Matrix of Prescience is the Divination Commission's ultimate weapon. It was originally used to calculate navigation routes and predict future events. Okay, so I have a, uh, a good question. Or perhaps a small theory. What if she wants to get to this matrix of prescience? Because it's the ultimate weapon. Perhaps she has a way to sabotage it in some way. Or worse. So maybe it would be a bad thing to actually bring her to the ultimate weapon. But the secrets of the Stellaron hunters cannot remain hidden any longer. Okay. I have no choice but to move beyond conventional protocol. We must use divination to ascertain Kafka's intent. This is gonna go very bad. Everything hinges on restoring the Matrix of Prescience, which is why I would like you to help Diviner Fu complete the setup. I am eternally grateful for your assistance. All right. Bye. You left, as usual. You always leave. So... She's just gonna walk in that thing, and then that thing is gonna do some woo, and then she is gonna do some weird shit, and that thing is gonna go wah, and after that, and after that things are gonna go real bad. What the? Uh, shifting screen is a short distance teleportation device of the artistship commission that allow characters to teleport between two spatial coordinates. Some shifting screens can be. Rotated in a line to another shifting screen, allowing characters to teleport between them. All right, whatever. Okay, so there is one here. There's one more over there, I think. Well, I guess we should take things one by uh, one turn, one one place at a time. Okay. Ah, where have I seen this before? I wonder. I wonder. exactly the same shit as before which is not bad but just saying oh hello how are you let's go watch this awesome move rules are made to be broken Wonders fight is gone. Wait for the tags. This is our chance. There we go. Easy. Any treasures Reach around? Reach the end of the story in your own way. I would gladly take some treasures if you would have them. Mm, what is this? Oh, fuck me. Easy. God damn it. Any treasures around? Oh, thank you. I found the treasure around. Oh my god, the door. Open it. Door, you can see what's on the other side. Isn't that incredible? Mm. Any more good shit around for me to steal? Oh crap. I'm gonna have a problem. <laughs> cool. Feeling lucky. We can kick his ass. Freeze. Freeze. 
This is our chance. Cut. Rules are made to be broken. He's the moment. Yeah, my turn. Enhance. Enhance again. Uh, this sucks. Enhance. Oh. Fuck me, enhance. I used all the power I had. <laughs> God, Let's make it quick. No. See this one in small slow-mo. Please, 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 please. <gasps> Looks like victory! Nice. I told you I could fight. My turn. Wait nice. for the time. That was a nice hit. Let's make it quick. Welcome, customers. Damn, these guys are actually tough. Yeah! My turn. Yeah. Luke. This is our chance. Well, this is our chance. Rules are made to be broken. Nice. Thank you. Oh, shiny. Ooh, sparkly. All of that. Yeah. Where do we go now? I kind of got confused with all this time trying to see how I'm gonna pull it off. Crap. There's so much shit to do. I think this is for the... Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see. That's what we need to... Oh, crap. There we go. Challenge completed. Shifting screen repair. enemies have become a little bit more tougher than I like now. He's the moment. <laughs> Battle over. 
Reach the end of the story. Oh, hi. Here. This is our chance. Welcome, customers. Yeah, told you I could fight. Mm. Luck of the draw. Please and victory. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Oh, puzzle. I like puzzles. Okay, let me think now. I need crap. I know what I need. It won't be that difficult. It will just be a little bit tricky. Which one? There we go. And now, oh wait a minute, oh, yeah, I, it was about right until I thought to myself to do things wrong for some reason. So that's how it works. Easy. Looks good. Thank you. Most of the jade. Still out, still out. Okay, oh, there we go. Mm, this way. Fuck is this? What? What? How much big of a map is this? Oh, hey, treasure. Looks good. Oh my god, the map is so huge. <laughs> how much more? Spare me. Another place. Where have we been? Well, we're past half the the things that we wanted to do. Oh, okay. So it's only this last area, I guess. Whoa! Where did the other one go? She left. Ching Shui, restarting the base terminals will be your res. Oh. She's not here. The Ching Shui you talk about. Okay. How are we gonna kick that thing's ass? We need a strategy. Yeah, well, I do not want to die and I do not want to waste time, so I have an idea. It's time to use the powerful characters. One, two, mm, three. This will strengthen our this position. Will strengthen our position. Oh, wait. And this, this upgrade will configure. And this, and this fire will damn you. There we go. Stay alert. Rules are made to be broken. What the fuck? This guy went to town. Fuck me. The oh, truth shit. of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. I 
I just realized why I changed their weapon. What are you looking at? I have an incredible idea. Retreat. Stay in this one more time. No, wait. Oh, so I technically already have their weapon. Yes, with this. And you. Well, you can use this. Yes. Oh, hey, and I can actually upgrade this. We could use the preservation. Yeah. But unfortunately for me, this guy actually doesn't have any weaknesses when it comes to... We need a strategy. He has some... Let me think. Which character am I supposed to choose? Not Himeko. Unfortunately, Himeko is not a good candidate. Oh, she is, and I didn't. Uh, no. No, th these are actually my most powerful characters. Let's see if we can actually manage it with shields. Oh, great. We do not have any more points. I'm with you. This will strengthen our position. Stay alert. of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Rules are made to be broken. You won't get away. I have something for you. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Let's make it quick. In the name of Landa, a will forged in ice never falters. Time for an overhaul. Frozen. Ends here. Frozen. I've no interest in con rules. Are made to be broken. Kick his ass. The truth of life and death. Yeah. Is but a vision. Break. You won't get away. I have something for you. Frozen him again. Landa a will forged in ice never falters <laughs> fighting is meaningless I have something for you <laughs> hope you're prepared Bye. 
managed. Excellent job. Past victories guarantee future ones. Worth our while. Worth our while indeed. Okay, now we change back to the other characters we had. Because we have to be canonically accurate, remember? Alright. Hmm. Now, the real question is, I cannot remember which cards I use. Uh, let's equip this. Yep, everything is fine. But let's move on. This way. Oh, hey, a treasure. Crap. What? Time to geek his ass. <laughs> Excellent work. Excellent work indeed. Reach the end of the story in your own way. And now we open up this door. It's a found the other Yeah. And now we we have everything open. Now the real question is how many treasures are they left? Because uh Well I do have to find them. Let me see, let me think. Let me see. This is the temporal terminal. Mm -hmm. Observes the potential of the temporal plane. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to time. Okay. Any treasure around? Oh, shit. Oh, well. Seize the moment! Come on! Oh, this sucks! Come on! Yes! Time to get gas. Bye. Bye. Ow. Bye. Oh shit. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Yeah. I was kinda like it. This is our chance. Bye. Reach the end of the story in your own way. We found another puzzle. Mm, not again with these ones. Okay. It won't be too difficult. Hmm. 
No. Thanks. This is our chance. Welcome, customers. Yeah, my turn. Okay. Same shit, just different. Not different day, but. Just different position. Same shit, different position. Should I kick this guy's ass? Oh, I might as well. Nice job. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Hmm. Wait. There's a vase here, which I did not broke. Not not like leaving things unbroken. Okay. Somehow, some way, I managed to not get all of them. All of them. Oh, it's because I. Ah, shit. Keep there's, at it. Oh, there's this one huge gate over there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I guess that's mess. This makes sense. What? I need to make a triangle. Muter Magnus. It's a large-scale jade abacus calculation terminal used to calculate human route. I mean, the activator basically simply move the layout. Can't match the pattern. Oh, it has to be exactly exactly as it's as its picture. What? No chest? That should do it. What? You just matched up those symbols. Is that it? The more complex something is, the more important it is to keep it simple. Don't you think? Ah, oh, so basically anyone can do it. Oh, if it's so simple, why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? <laughs> Maybe deep down she just wants to be lazy once in a while. Like me. Good thing you're knowledgeable about that. Can I open up this door? Oh well, I guess I got as many treasures as I could. As I could. What the? Why is this guy here? Oh, what the heck is this? It looks like a walking gate. Take it easy. There's nothing supernatural on the C and Joe. Yeah, it's an sure. Aromaton. It's guarding the Matrix of Prescience. They're stationed at various strategic places. Uh, I feel like it needs a sign saying mortals forbidden or something. Are you sure it won't fly into a rage if we walk past it? 
We're here by order of the Master Diviner to restart the Matrix of Prescience. Friends, not foes. Passage prohibited. Fuck you too. Uh, March, you should join the Divination Commission. Quick, do something. All right. Stay alert. Luck of the draw. Please, and... <gasps> Victory! Stay alert! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken! Let's make it quick. My turn. Mm. <laughs> Here. Choose when to strive to try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Wait for the tides. Frozen. Hell yeah. I wanna. Nah. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Crap. God damn it. Try that again. Welcome, customers. Nice. All right, we managed somehow. That little shit of a robot just had to do this things difficult. This must be the spatial terminal. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to space. You probably could have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> you probably could have guessed that. God. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not that difficult. Okay, just pick this one up. Shove it over here. Yeah, then pick this one up. Shove it over here. Easy. Done. Next. Let's go to the next. Oh, there is the other box. Nice. Thank you for letting me know. Won't be too difficult. He's the moment. Rules are made to be broken. So it's the moment the rules are made to be broken. He's the moment. Yeah, my turn. To try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Come on. My turn. There we go. My luck is uh, great. Wait for the 
Nice. Oh shit! Did you see that shit? My Let's god. Thank you for screwing me over, I guess. What is this? Cancer. It is said to be able to create a calming atmosphere that helps the virus to focus on their work, yet you are not sure how it works. Okay then. What was that? Nothing. You need to check your eyesight, mate. Hmm. Oh, let me guess. Time, space. I bet the next terminal is energy related. Darn, the karma terminal. <laughs> they say this terminal is designed to establish causal relationships. Hmm. Ah, huh. easy. Very easy, actually. So easy that I'm actually mm, sleeping. Back to the core and report to the master diviner. All right, all right. How many? <clears throat> wait, wait a minute. So for the formidable foes do not actually count? Yeah, there is also this area right there. Oh well, fair enough. I for always forget about this one area I haven't well been yet. Well done, all of you. I can sense the Matrix of Prescient symbols re-illuminating. Now, to interrogate Kafka. Those of you in the core may feel a few... impacts. What kind of impacts? Are you ready? Not quite. First, I need to... get... um... get some health. There we go. Alright. Thank you for the help. Now I'm ready. And you know what? I will not torture myself any longer. I'm sorry, but you, Ting Yung, I haven't built you up very well. I'm afraid. Don't take it personally. I guess you're just not as good as you expect. Oh shit, they use the same... Okay, you know what? I guess this means that I have to keep... to keep her. Nah, I'm well ready. done, all of you now. To in are you ready? Yeah, ready. Oh hey! <laughs> is this really necessary? I said I'd cooperate with you. What is wrong with your eyes now? What the fuck? This was not your eyes before. I. Something's off. 
you are not the Kafka from before. What what happened to you? What why is your Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I can already feel things going off the rails already. I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Then please, Master Diviner, witness my destiny. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you believe this shit? I, no. <laughs> Cutscene. This is gonna be a problem. Oh, fuck me. Why is he smiling? Max, why are you here? All for that? Well, not what you were expecting. I can't believe it. Tell me and I'll tell you if I can believe it. <clears throat> but the Matrix of Prescience cannot be wrong. What did you do? What's... Has Kafka pulled one over us on again? <laughs> Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you. It's you. Yeah, I knew that. What do you mean? Oh, wait a minute. She's here from me. Absurd! I'd never have thought it. Huh? I sense more Fu Shang riddles on the horizon. Tell us what's going on. Ask her yourself. Take as long as you wish. Always with that pleasant smile. I must report this to the general immediately. Please excuse me. Thank you for giving me answers. So much for questioning. You go ask her. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, I'll go, I'll go. All I right. know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Mm, I do. Talk with Kafka alone. Prophets do not prophesy. Well, if there are questions you want Kafka to answer, now's the time. There are so many things I want to ask. Actually, I don't have anything to ask her. Is there anything you want to know? Is there anything you want to know? There are many things I want to know, but they can wait. Can I ask her again? What will Kafka have to say to you? I'm curious to find out myself. All right. March. You go. I don't want to talk to that woman. Okay. Be careful, though. Don't get fooled by her again. I'll try. Are you kidding? I'm an expert now. Got it. Fool me twice. Same on me. Nah, you're the one more likely to get fooled. Nah, that's evil. I don't want to say that too much. Are you kidding me? I'm an expert now. Got it. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Got it. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Fool you what now? Ugh, stop it. I'm getting Fu Shuen vibes. Okay. Anything else? Be careful. Don't get Okay. Oh crap. Okay, so first, what the fuck am I? Hi. Hi. Oh my god, now it actually feels like a legit like the way you, you have me right now in the first person. I feel like, yeah, I genuinely now, I am the one questioning here. Crap. Huh. You haven't changed a bit. It hasn't been that long, really. Oh, I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. Well, yeah, true. I was not expecting our reunion to be like this. True. Don't act like we're friends. Are you alright? Are you hurt? You don't look like you're in a sorry state to me. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Hmm. Concerned about me? I'm fine. 
The Sienjo is always courteous with its captives. Mm. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Ah. Worth waiting for, don't you think? True. You seem to have a lot to ask me. As long as you're willing to answer. What's your objective? Are you really innocent? What did Fu Shang see? <sighs> really innocent? I think this is not a question necessary to ask. I'll judge me. I'll judge her from the answer she gives me. <laughs> if you are to answer anyone, are you really innocent? They will always say yes. Like, why do you expect for them to say no? I'm guilty. I'm sorry. No, they will never say I'm guilty. What is your objective? What did you Fu Shang see? I guess I have to ask Fu Shang. What did she see? So, what is your objective? Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Okay. Uh, let me read this again. Elio said he foresaw three questions. So this was my three questions. But they would be the same in essence. Oh, yeah, kind of, because all, all of them are about the objective, basically. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Okay, so you, Elio basically told you, tell him everything. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? This is going according to plan for you, huh? God damn it. So technically I'm still being manipulated. But I can't do anything if I do not know how to do it, so I guess... I guess yes, I have to hear your answer anyway. Sienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron Hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. So basically you are bad guys only because you kept silent. Fair enough. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. No, actually, I didn't refuse to believe it at all. I believed you from the very damn beginning. The main reason why I was chasing you this entire time is because I want to know legit what you're up to. Like, in the long run. I don't really care about the Shinjo. I never cared from the beginning. I was just being diplomatic because I just feel like helping people. That's all, really. Just so you know. Two... Someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General, presumably to inform him of this fact. Well... Hmm... <laughs> It's because of these dreams I have been... T no, it wasn't my dream this time. It was actually Hank's dream. I kinda knew this. I was actually expecting that someone else was the one who activated the Stellaron, but the real question is, who? However, that's all the Master Diviner knows. Because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. On purpose. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. Obviously. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. Well, yeah, I was actually kind of expecting that. Since we're talking all about truths and futures and shit, that means that whoever foresaw the future from the very beginning has already weaved the future the way they want. Meaning that the fact that you got caught, it's actually something that um, I was actually expecting you to expect it. As for number three, 
Even in their wildest dreams, the Cianjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> really? If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? Blady is that guy with the red eyes and the weird aura. The one with um, he Dank Hang actually does not like at all. That's guy. That's the guy you mean? Well, <sighs> yeah, it's true. It truly is a good question. Since you just didn't want to be here, like you didn't. Why are you here? Truly, is a good question. That's all, really. We're here for you. Ah. You want to tell me something? You want to kidnap me? You want to test me? What what the hell do you want from me? For us? Remain silent. You're lying. I don't think she's lying. And remaining silent shows some intimidation, so might as well just give an answer. For us? Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fu Shen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Cienjo. Wait a minute. <clears throat> the Stellar Hunters appearing here, I understand. Blady getting arrested and you getting lured to the Matrix of Patience does not really explain much. Mostly because we were already in Xiangsu from the very first moment you saw you you, you sent this message to us. So what's up with everything else that happened? Did he got arrested on purpose as well? In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. Mm, let me process that for a second. So you wanted me to establish a connection with the Xiangzu, basically. <sighs> it was all about achieving the, the connection, basically. Why... How does that benefit you and why is that a thing for us? Wait a minute, what? And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. <laughs> I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Sienjo will offer you their help. I see. What do you think? Surprised? Not that much. The notorious Stellaron Hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Sienjo? <laughs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? It is bizarre, I'll give you that, but... No. I think there is a bigger play at here. I have found myself multiple times, you see, in conspiracies and, you know... Um, Encountering, encountering, you could say, great masterminds. Thus, I didn't, I couldn't have imagined it, but I feel like I have found myself in enough, you know, enough situations such as these to not be surprised anymore. Just saying. Ultimately, the real question is, what's this big? thing you're talking about and the Shenzu has to be an ally of mine in this big moment. Are you are you are you trying to overthrow the gods or some shit? 
what is this future you're talking about you're lying why are you helping okay so this is the real question why what is this future you're talking about like I said Elio withheld key pieces of information from me the future holds endless possibilities knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work withheld key pieces of information from me the future holds endless possibilities Right thing, wrong time, could spoil our hug. The distraction. But wait a minute, I... What? There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of Ionic proportions. Wait, so I am the one who will go up against God. I was expecting that, but since I am already, you know, the first power I got with, you know, the first power I got was the destruction. I was not expecting Nanook to be the one who, he, who is the, who's going to be the one I'm going to face. I mean, I have faced gods in previous lives of mine. I'm not as scared of them. But it does take a lot of work, I'll tell you that much. So I see now what you're trying to do. <sighs> Crap. I, we really caught ourselves in a bizarre situation, alright? Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But, if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. So you're telling me that ruin is coming, and I have to face the ruin. And in order for me to face the ruin, I'm going to need to, to receive help from you while you work in the shadows, because you're going to pull off some crazy stunts in order to convince everyone to join us in this desperate struggle with the god of destruction yeah I have seen this before actually uh, that's why I said it doesn't really you know surprise me at all and this and I've actually this time this time I'm actually kind of glad that it's actually a little bit straightforward you know even eons can be killed yeah I know that actually they might have, you know, golden blood, or, but you see, they can be killed in some way, I do know that much. Or at the very least be sealed away, or perhaps not have a physical form. Yeah, no surprises there. In the meantime, are we playing as uh, Dang Hang this time? Concurrently at the other end of Leofu. Hey, Lorcha. Hey, you didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going. It's interesting. So, eons can die, huh? Weird. I thought they were invincible. <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. Mm. I don't understand. They're all eons. Why do they want to fight? <laughs> They're fucking gods. What do you expect? You... Are you really from the Xianzhou? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. Isn't destroying the Eon Yaosha the Alliance's cherished aim? Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. Uh... In that case, let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. 
Mm. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, this one? <laughs> it's a casket. More commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. What's in the fucking box? The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Ah, uh, I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. Hmm? Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. And that's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star skiffs and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the returning. As for the Vidyodora, they're more mysterious. They say that when a Vidyodora is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. When the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. My mom calls the Vidyodora Long Scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Vidyodora could turn into dragons. I don't know if that's true. Only special Vidyodora can turn into dragons. It's just a legend. Only special can turn into dragons. What do you know? Silent but deadly speaks. <laughs> Your mother is right. The Vidyadara are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or curse ah, I've heard the story of long the permanence and their descendants many myths and legends praise the eon for a rich and immortal life but for some reason the eon disappeared among the stars without a trace almost as if they had never existed leaving only their descendants they died Every life has its limit. Even the eons are not truly immortal and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Plot twist. Within the goddamn, you know, <laughs> casket, the coffin, he has the, you know, the, the deceased body of an eon. <laughs> uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. Friend? Foe. No. So, uh, a sweetheart? Foe. <laughs> Miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once by chance i made someone a promise and so i have to run this errand let's leave it at that i don't, be we? I don't believe this shit. i think we've all had enough rest i feel like something's off pass through the empty delve uh oh, god damn it i like the the interrogation i was having with kafka god damn it oh this was kind of dizzy in my eye Oh wait, can I play a scheme? Cannot change character. Uh, uh, you are not allowing me to do. Uh, screw you. Let's play with as them then. 
fighting is meaningless. Let me through. <laughs> oh, Yee. nothing major. Crap. I've no interest in conflict. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death mm. revealed in an instant. This one. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. <laughs> Bloom. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Nice. Past victories can see future ones. Mara struck. Mara it looks struck. like someone's hurt. Wait. Let's think before we act. Let's let's act before we think. What the? Who, is Who are you? Oh no! I think I've been spoiled a little bit in this section. On this specific scene, actually. Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <laughs> what happened to us letting you handle it? <laughs> I've only got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. Enough. Let's go. I've no interest in conflict. Wanna see what I can do? Dodge this! Take this! Chicken! Wait, chicken. Surprise, Phoenix! God damn it. Wanna see what I can do? You! The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Let me through. Dodge this. I'll. We are not going anywhere. Nothing major. Eternal slip. Dead returned. Fighting is meaningless. There we go. Nice. Miss, are you okay? What do you think? Uh, sorry, I, I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. A cyborg! My motor is broken. I can't move. Are you a cloud knight? Good. Take me to the realm keeping commission. I, uh. Locha, silent but deadly. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. As a cloud knight, I must prioritize her orders. Hmm. Long life super authority. Mm. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries? Well, it's just... she's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission? Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. You might get an aching or numbing sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. 
The abundance. The eon. <clears throat> He's a neon. Very good. We uh, no longer need to return to the realm keeping commission. The mission continues. As a judge in the employ of nice the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice: leave as soon as possible. Mm. I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. <laughs> Darkhang, you know who it is? If it hadn't been for a strange accident, my wake span might have been cut short. Strange accident? Bye. I'll see you when we pull for you, I guess. Come with me. Oh. Oh, you so you want to come with you, okay? <laughs> God this damn it. All these people all these people are going to have banners at some point and everyone is going to be drooling as to who are they going to pull for. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Can we go back to our original team? You know, I was having a nice conversation with dear Kafka. I mean, why the divination wish? You know, even eons can be killed. Yeah, I said, so your plan is to kill an eon? Killing an eon, humans don't have that power. How could an eon possibly be killed? So your plan is to kill an eon? <laughs> Are you kidding? That's not what we want. Uh, so? I just want to tell stories from the past. Stories about eons that have fallen. Mm. Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazeronth the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. Hmm? Ah, you left that one on last by accident, huh? These names were once known all over the universe. And now they've all but disappeared. Leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide. And the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Oh, so the Order got lost the Harmony, okay. Two. In a war between Eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeronth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the Hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the Abundance. Mm. So... The Sienjo too are engaged in this process. True. Why does the Sienjo want to kill the Abandons? How did she die? What about Akivili? Did they die at the hands of an Eon? Actually, this sounds this sounds the most interesting question. But what does the Sienjo want to kill the Abandons? Why does the Sienjo want to kill the Abandons? How did the Sienjo? So. To learn which uh, eons, how the eons died, on w learn uh, why. Okay, why? Uh, as far as I know, the predecessors of the Alliance were the Elixir Seekers. They searched for Yaosher and longed for the blessing of immortality. When they eventually found the eon, they received the blessing that did indeed prevent death. The Ambrosial Arbor. Ambrosia? But immortality turned out to be a curse for the Sienjo. That's when the hunt appeared, firing an arrow and felling the Ambrosial Arbor. Ever since, the Alliance has followed the hunt in pursuit of Yaoshu, erasing the curse of immortality from the universe along the way. 
What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> yeah, I actually like them. They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. I see. My god, she really is our mom. She even tells us stories. <laughs> well, what about the third way? Why are you telling me this? Do you believe all this nonsense? <sighs> Saying that you don't believe it's actually, you know, in the fantasy world is kind of dumb. So, what about the third way? Why are you telling me this? What about the third way? Hold on. Any minute now. Uh, what? <laughs> it's begun. Oh, come on. I want to talk to you more. Hmm, crap. <laughs> of course you're free. Hey! Oh, excellent. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> Later. Catch you on the flip side! Uh, did Kafka escape? Uh, how are we gonna explain this to the Master Diviner? How about the Master Diviner explain to us why her, you know, chains were so loose? Just saying. If what she said is true, we won't have to explain anything. Wait a fucking minute, I was not expecting you to actually talk. God damn it, I am actually so glad that you're talking, but god damn it, I wish it was the same in Genshin. So, we do have a voice when we feel like it. God damn it. Why am I here then? Hey, did she brainwash you? Yes, I mean no. Maybe. Later, I'll see you next time. I'll see you in the next episode, I guess. I hope I see you in the next episode. So, find you, Shang, and DJ, and report them about the Ambrosial. About the Ambrosial and Boros Chains res Resurrection. Okay. Hey! Uh, Wood Sprout's new features. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh. We have some, uh, oh yeah, the assignment. Claim. Again. Claim. No, not again. Uh, but I do want again these. Dispatch. Claim. Close. Okay, I really need some more you know, of these things, so I guess, I guess. And I need more of these as well. Mm, I do not need money. I do not need any of these materials. Too bad I don't have enough. I have only one person from the hunt. So I need to get one more character from the hunt in order to be able to, you know. Uh, what? God damn it. What was that? I, I didn't read it. I wanted to read it though. Um, ah, when the wind ca watcher watches you, find Jingxie who is working hard playing games. Professional onlooker. Okay, prophet do not prophesize. Witness the mystery of the deviation and commission of matrix. Interrogate Kafka with the matrix of present and challenge the, challenge the divination with this foresight. Weird, interesting though. And this one, all right. Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? How did it grow all of a sudden? Yeah. Oh, amazing, absolutely amazing. Even the long lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky. Stop drooling. What the fuck is wrong with you all of a sudden? Maybe someone applied a strong fertilizer. The Ambrosia Arbor was imputed with some kind of power. Such extraordinary energy. It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yang, do you mean 
the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes. The Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. Excellent. Looks good. Mm, so you people, the Ambrosial Arbor is reborn. How could this happen? <laughs> Hey, save zone. I'm bored. Wait. Wait, oh shit, it was uh, right. There we go. Come on, go for it. Also, we're on the back side now. Oh my god, how far are you gonna come? Are you gonna go? I don't have any more time. I have to close the stream and I have work afterwards. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, this is gonna take a long while. Are made to be broken. A thousand wonders. <laughs> Finest one. Wait for the tiles. They come. Wow. Next one. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Choose me strike. This is our chance. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Finally. Looks good. Thank you. Let's go. <clears throat> Any more, you know. Oh, there it is. Looks good. Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fool. The Matrix of Prescience does not <coughs> lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Law Fool. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Law Fool's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. That shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed himself. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter. And only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship. And yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. 
Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? <laughs> that piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. Yeah. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traitors have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Can you stop it with so much exposition? I don't have any more time. Am I coming up with a plan again? Yeah. Of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Hmm. As ever, the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? What? General? Well? You're a traitor. <laughs> You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. We were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron Hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? God damn. This guy knows exactly what's going on and he just rolls with it. Uh, let me guess, Moran. Listen up, we've got a situation. Oh, that massive tree has suddenly sprung to life. It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the general. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Please, we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people on the Law Fu? <laughs> you... Why are you staring at me? Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing Outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such, I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure, Lady Fu. I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Dell. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general. Have you not? You've never given me the opportunity and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. As for our astral friends, I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Finally. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. Orders received then. And, uh, <laughs> errands received, General. Payment or we go on strike. <laughs> Orders received, General. This is no order, honored guests. I'm merely stating what needs to be done, should you wish to help us. You've never really seen us as outsiders, huh? Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. 
I am duty bound. The Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape delves are adjacent to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. I'd like you to investigate these places. Okay, what exactly is the Ambrosial Arbor? It is an ancient artifact that was planted on the Sienjo Lafu by Yausha, the Eon of Abundance. It has the power to shape life and subdue death at will. The ancestors of the Lofu people consumed the fruits of the Ambrosial Arbor and gained endless lifespans, thus becoming long-life species. Mm. Oh, sounds like an amazing treasure. Yes. It was also the bane of everything to come. Aren't you happy about the Ambrosial Arbor's restoration? As outsiders, you are unfamiliar with the history of the Sienjo. I cannot blame you for that. Long ago, before the Sienjo took to the skies, our ancestors lived on the surface of a planet. Like all of you, the Sienjo people at that time were a mortal species with a lifespan of fewer than 100 years. There was a time when the ruling emperor could not bear his temporary existence, or the thought of his life's achievements being lost to another after his death. He became fixated on acquiring an elixir of immortality and focused his power on constructing a fleet of nine ships. These ships would voyage into deep space where traces of gods were rumored to exist. Did he succeed? Yes and no. He succeeded because after an arduous journey, the nine ships eventually witnessed the manifestation of a god. Yao Shou's appearance provided for all manner of unfathomable celestial blessings. However, he failed because the fleet has been lost ever since, and has never been able to return to its home planet. That doesn't sound so bad. The Sienjo people went on a great adventure and got what they wanted in the end, right? Oh, our ancestors once thought so too, but the miracle of longevity was nothing more than a vain dream. Take the Lafu, for example. Immortality seemed like a beautiful thing, but what followed was population expansion and diminishing resources. In the struggle for survival, the immortals lost their humanity and degenerated into mere beasts. After paying the price with blood and tears, the Lafu people finally understood that immortality was not a free blessing, but the beginning of a cruel ordeal. In the eras that followed, other beings that had likewise received Yaosher's blessings repeatedly attacked the Xianzhou in an attempt to take the sacred artifact as their own. Countless atrocities were committed as a result. Many Sienjo comrades <clears throat> who were lucky enough to survive the wars became stricken with Mara, a condition that immorals are susceptible to. Had it not been for the enlightenment and protection of the Rainbow Arbiter, the Sienjo alliance you see today would never have existed. At this point in the story, I assume you understand the disasters that the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor might bring about? Mm, you said there were traitors inside? Thousands of years have passed since the rainbow. Most in the Sienjo regard the arbor as nothing more than the stump of a dead tree. Only those from our ancestors placed the stump in full view of the people precisely to make it seem unimportant. But in fact, they sealed it behind layers upon layers of delve enchantment. Even if one travels toward the Ambrosial Arbor, one will never reach it. Someone brought a Stellaron into the Sienjo and planted it among the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor. They wished to resurrect it and achieve their hidden goal through external aggression. In my opinion, the force that provided the Stellaron and the force that activated it have different objectives. Hmm, let's delay no longer, we should be I moving. I have asked Fu Shen to open a shortcut to the Divination Commission for you. Okay, so anyway, I have to get going. I have lost a lot of time. I will see you on the next uh, stream in two days. Uh, presumably, in, if I have time or if I am okay. 
depends on how tired I am. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good uh, rest of the Wednesday or start of the Wednesday or whatever. I'll see you in two days on Friday. Not on 2 p.m. Eastern European time, as I said before. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough, you know, uh, time or I'm gonna be just on time. I'll let you know when I know myself. <laughs> see you later. Bye bye. Some exposition we got in the last part, but goddamn, uh, you cannot really stop playing this game. But I really have to start not playing this game because I think I'm a little bit too into it. Or at the very least, let's play it as long as the story is still, you know, still holding up. Oh, whatever. It, it holds up, but what I mean is as long as we finish the story so far. Because obviously there are going to be more in the future. Anyway. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Later. See ya. Later. Bye. Bye.